we are going to talk about some famous curves. So you should already know y equals to x squared plus something x plus the y-intercept. So this looks like a smiley face. So today, we are going to look at some other famous ones. And these are the ones. The first is the cubic function. And then the reciprocal functions, which is a constant divided by x or divided by x squared. Finally, it's the exponential graph, which is y equals to ax, and a is any constant. So in the first case, x squared looks like a smile. The value in front of x squared is positive, it's the smile. If it is negative, it will be a frown. For the cubic function, your graph looks like this, either like that or like this. So to be more precise, this occurs when a is greater than 0, and this when a is less than 0. So d is the y-intercept, where your graph cuts the y-axis, and it can look like this. So this shape happens when a is greater than 0, and when d is equals to 0. So when d is equal to 0, that means that it cuts the y-axis at 0. So conversely, when a is a negative value, your graph will look like that, and d is not equal to 0. So this is your cubic function. So for your reciprocal functions, let's look at y is equal to a over x. Now you can remember that this function, if you were to plot it or sketch it on a graph, it will look like this. So this graph is disjoint. Your graph will reach will never reach the y-axis, but it will go up until infinity. And over here, on the positive infinity side, your graph will never reach the x-axis, but it will go on closer and closer and closer and closer. So this is the y is equals to a over x graph, and where a is a positive value. Now, when a is a negative value, it will be the other direction. So when a is negative it will be something like this. So it's similar, but in this case, this graph approaches the x-axis from the negative y side. So this is the graph for y is equals to a over x when a is less than zero. Now I recommend that you memorize these graphs because it will be much easier for you to check whether you are on the right track when you are doing problems further down the road. And it helps you to understand a lot of functions when you can visualize it. So for this case, a over x square, you can really see that because of the square, there are no negatives. So when a is a positive value, in this case, the x square will flip this curve. So it will look like that. So when this curve gets flips, it will look like that, and there's no change to the positive side. So x, y axis, and this is y equals to a over x squared for a is positive. Now in the case where a is negative, you can see from here that when a is negative, y will always be a negative value because whether or not x is positive or negative, when you square it, it will be a positive value. So y will always be negative. So your graph will look like that, where this gets flipped down. So it is always negative. 
And finally, let's take a look at y equals like to an exponential. So this may be the most famous of them all, where it looks like this. Now this is the y is equals to ax graph and at x equals to 0, y is always 1 and when x is a very small value, y will never be 0 because a to the power of some decimal, 0 0.000 something, is a very 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 small decimal value but it is always positive and it will never reach x but it will go on all the way until infinity so the same case on the right hand side when x becomes very large a to the power of a very very large number will be exponential larger so this will go up and up and up and it will increase all the way so to summarize for your cubic graph it looks something like this so the direction depends on whether a is positive or negative and whether it crosses x equals to 0 depends on whether b is 0 or not. And for your reciprocal functions, it will look like that or the other way around or if it is the x squared case, then both graphs will be in the similar direction, either like that or like that so this one is either like this or like this finally for the exponential case it looks like that all the way to infinity so these are some of the common graphs that you should know other than the x square graph